so this is being recorded in the spring of 2020 and I assembled that in the fall of 2019 and I got it on video but unfortunately for whatever reason the camera was picking up more wind noise than it was anything else and I really apologize for the sound. I was not expecting that. Water Funner here. Today I'm in my backyard finishing up my coffee. So today I'll be doing something a little different again. And for all you subscribers who came here for my auto related videos, don't worry, they'll be back. So anyone who's new to the channel, I also do gardening, I do a little bit of everything. So here's what we're doing today. So if you look right past the deck right here, you'll see some new grow boxes right there. And those are not just any ordinary grow boxes, but those are a greenhouse. Okay, not yet, but they will be. Not a bad day, it's uh, 15 degrees here in Canada in October. So I wasn't quite sure what I was looking for when I was shopping around for this stuff, and they talked me into buying this uh, CPVC, which really isn't compatible with anything else. It's a size all on its own, and had I known, I would have just bought regular PVC, but this is CPVC. So I ran into a problem. The problem was I couldn't find any four ways like this. I'll show you a little clip from the last time I tried this. So the other day I picked up ten of these tubes. They're eight foot, three quarter inch. At least they're supposed to be three quarter inch. It says right on there. It says right there, three quarter inch. So originally I was going to use these on every one of these, but uh, I need to put a center center brace across the center. Of course, center brace across the center. And what I really needed was what came in the mail today was these. I actually only needed a four-way, but uh, the cheapest ones that I could find were five-way. And on the bag, it says three-quarter inch PVC fitting and that's what this is this tubing is three-quarter inch this is a different three-quarter inch than what those are so you can see the difference there one's white and one's yellow and the white one is way bigger so I'm gonna see if I can work with this somehow or I might have to send it back I'm not really sure so those fittings have been sent back to Amazon so since I couldn't find any four ways this is the only way that I'm gonna be able to do this is uh, I'm gonna have five of those across that and so my first section of course it'll be long wider than this but my first section will be with one three-way here and a three-way here and then I'm gonna join it between here and here and then I'll have to have two here as well and then I'll join it from here to here and then the next section it will be from here to here and this will be the end so I only need one again so I will end up putting a little tube in between here on these ones so this end is going to get cut off by about two inches right here because that's how wide it is from here to where that stopper is in the center of one of these so I've cut off about two inches on eight of the ten tubes I took three of these cutoffs 
put them inside there as far as I could get them right up to the stopper and I'm going to cut another half an inch off each one. So I'm just going to smooth off all of the edges on these connectors and also on the tubes that I just cut off. So this is the mask that I was using uh, for the one, for the two on the end where there wasn't an extra coupler, I left that a full eight feet. Anything where there was an extra tee, and on this side over here, because this, this is offset this way, so I cut off two inches off of here, two inches off of here, and then since there's an extra tee on this side, I had to cut an extra two inches off of this one, two off of this one, two off of this, two, two, and two off of this one, and this one remained the same because it's offset that way. So now I'll start putting all this together, and I got some glue right here. First thing I'll do is glue up the centers. There's two little center pieces here. And I'm hoping that they're going to squish together completely like that, or very close to it. And I got a flat piece of board here just to make sure that they're going to be facing across from each other. Okay, that looks just right. Nice and flat. And this glue has been sitting on the shelf for a long time already, waiting to be used. So, it's drying very quickly. No time to monkey around once you get it on there. Alright, I'll get the rest of these done. Get back to you. So now I need to do a little bit of math and gotta measure the length of that box. So it's not exactly the full length of this that I'm gonna be measuring. Um, these are the brackets that are gonna hold those tubes in place and I'll probably have that right in the center of this that first tube and also the last tube on the other end will be right about in the center of this. So I want to measure from this center to the center of the other end. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Okay, so that's 138 center to center from front to back. Once you do the math, the total length here is 138, and I'm going to have three tubes in the middle, so I need the center one. It will be 69 inches, half of 138, and then the other two here and here will be at 34 and a half, which is half of this. So if you take 34 and a half, and you multiply up times one, two, three, four, you end up back at 138 again, right there. So, that's correct. Not sure if you can see that pencil mark right there. That's what I did in every spot where there was going to be one of those tubes. I marked the line. Okay. 
two down, 18 to go. And I'm leaving these loose for now. I'm not putting this one all the, all the way to the bottom because I want to leave myself enough room that I can tuck the plastic around here and maybe put a 2x2 two two across the bottom to seal it. I'll get the rest of them on there and then I'll show you what kind of problems I'm having here with them. So I got a little bit ahead of you here and put one of these in just to see how it was going to fit. Looks pretty good. And then this leads me to the other problem with being that this is C PVC instead of PVC. These brackets are too big. I bought three quarter inch, but they're still too big. So I had some old heater hose from a car, truck, whatever. And that's what I'm going to use right there. I'm going to take this, snip it across there, and then I'm going to cut it to size whatever I need to fit in that corner. Or in, actually into all of the brackets. So yeah, this is what we're looking at here. A whole lot of slop in there. And and use this whole thing, but I don't think that's going to work. Maybe just a little too much. Alright, I'm going to cut some off. So that little rubber spacer is in place, and I got 20 more of these things cut. So I've got the tube sticking out the bottom just slightly. So you're probably wondering why I'm even bothering with these brackets, why I don't just return them and get the right size. Well the thing is I've been having such a hard time finding anything for this type of tubing. I just didn't want to bother and I didn't want to have to go back into town today and this is actually going to work really well and it's going to be all covered up by the plastic so You'll never even see it there. It is holding pretty snug, so I actually like that idea. So right there I got the other 18 nice, neatly, evenly cut rubber pieces. And I've got four nice, evenly cut braces to put across the top. So if you remember from before, I mentioned that the center of this one to the center of this one is 34 and a half inches, and these braces are 33 and a quarter. Now the reason why that is because of these things. So I measured from the inside where the stopper is to the end of this tube, and it worked out to be about 5 eighths of an inch times 2 makes an inch and a quarter. So I made these inch and a quarter shorter than what the actual spacing is here. That way it won't pull out at the top. Okay, enough math. And the reason that that grow box over there is right in the middle of nowhere is because earlier this year I redid the deck and all the grow boxes that were down there had to be moved and I'm just going to let that one there die out it's almost the end of the season I thought we were actually going to get frost overnight but uh, that cherry tomato still looks okay so once that planter is empty then maybe I'll move it back to its original home over here by the patio where it was. Anyway, that's what we got growing there right now. So I'm just going to continue putting on some more of those. When I'm lifting it I just gotta pay close attention to where those T's are facing. You gotta be in the right direction before I clamp it all down. So for now, 
I'm just going to hook them into the brackets without the rubber spacers and I'll put the spacers in after. these braces in as I go without gluing them. Well, I didn't forget. Got glue in it, but obviously it didn't hold. Try it again. So I just had a second one break and that glue that I was using was pretty old and it also says it's standard grade yellow ABS cement so maybe that stuff doesn't work for PVC thought it would got some five minute two part epoxy so I don't trust this uh, five minute two part epoxy either it's none too fresh and it's from the dollar store so what I've done here is put four screws there. So these are just offset from the top. This is the top side. The reason why I didn't go all the way on the top is because I didn't really want anything that could possibly wear through the plastic. So I'm going a little bit offset and hopefully it'll still hold. This one already cracked. And I'm going to put a couple screws on the sides here to hold these in and here and I'm going to do both of these as well and I'm just, just getting myself a small little drill bit and my battery ran out just a minute ago This is what I'm going to be doing all the way through. And I've got some little screws there. And I'm going to put a whole bunch in. Because I got a whole bunch. Alright, enough of this doing this by hand. I'm going to drill the rest of the holes and then start putting it in with the drill. So, they all got their screws in. Wow. Quite the weird looking mess, but hey, I think it's going to hold. Darn well better. I'm going to attach some of those center braces just to hold everything in place. Looks as 
a little crooked there right now, but I got the end one sitting up high and those other three are still sitting on the ground. I put all those rubbers in behind those. So I have all of these tubes attached. And those rubbers actually worked out really well. So now the top looks much better. And I just have to put some screws into the braces that go across the top. I haven't glued them or anything, but I think I'm just going to make sure they're all nice and tight and then put some screws in.